Hey friends, Catherine here. Today I am coming to you to address a problem that we all have faced at some point in our lives. We have a book, we love that book, and we don't know where its dust jacket is. You're recognizing your infinite wisdom that having a dust jacket on a book is important for the longevity and care of that book. So you need to put a jacket on it to help make it last. This one, as you may be able to tell, hasn't had some care in a little while. There's some water spots, there's some scuff marks, and this book is one of my particular favorites. This happens to be Douglas Adams, More Than Complete Hitchhiker's Guide. So I would really like to put a cover on this book. And to do that, I am going to get out my ever trusty roll of packing paper. This is just brown craft paper and I'm going to test the length of it. This roll is longer than can fit on the camera but it has to be at least long enough that it can go all the way around the book. So I'm going to line the book up with one edge of it, turn the book so that the spine is there, and then roll it so that the other edge comes over to it. And it does. Uh, the paper more than reaches further than the full outside of the book, which is awesome. So now the next thing that we're going to do is take a section of paper that is longer than the height of the book and cut that off. It doesn't have to be particularly longer. I'm going like maybe three inches over on each side and I'll just set my book aside for the moment. And then I will take and cut that paper off in a hopefully straightish line. I have not always been the best at cutting straight lines off of this roll of paper in the past, but we shall see how it goes. Come on, you. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to set our roll aside and take our extra length of paper and the first thing that we are going to do is fold it in half to find the center. Something resembling the center is about right there. So that gives us the center and a place to work from. Oof, stop rolling up. Now what we are going to do is bring back over a book and check to see if folded in half it will fit all the way around. Oh, and it does, but only just. Not, not long enough for our purposes here. That's all right. Um, in that case, what we are going to do is take the top and the bottom and crease them over at the top and the bottoms of the book. So lift the top up and crease it so that we create a crease here, and lift the bottom up and crease it so that we create a crease here, and then slide our book along and do the same thing over again. Lift the bottom up to crease, lift the top up to crease, and just the same thing over again all the way down to the end. Top and bottom, crease at the height of the book. Once we've done that, we are going to open our paper back up and crease it back over along that crease that we just created so that both of the edges go inward. So crease here and here. So along the top. This is a lot of paper and it really wants to roll up. That's all right, we will make it work. And along the bottom. There we go. Okay, and then fold back in half again. So that we have 
these two lovely crease edges at the top and the bottom. We can set our book back on and just double check, but it should, if we've done everything right, just fit. Okay, we're going to fold up the back edge here so that it is the height of the spine with a little bit extra left over. And then we are going to cut off this end with like an inch. We want extra to be hanging over on this part. That's actually going to be crucial for our cover later on. Go, just try and cut it off evenly, well away from the edge of our book because we don't want to endanger our book. And we can just toss away the excess and then maybe come back in and clean up this edge a little bit just so that it's straighter and neater and nicer, hopefully. Okay, all well and good. And then open our paper back up and put our book inside this time so that the crease at the center of the paper lines up with more or less the center of the spine. So I'll turn it on the end and you can see, here's the crease and here's the spine of our book so that it's sort of down the center. Then what we're going to do once we've got that lined up as close as possible is take our outer edges and fold them around our cover. So there's the front, increase it down and then scooch it so that it's tight against the spine again, as tight as we can make it and lift up our pages and fold the back around and crease it down. Now that would stay on the book for about five minutes if you were carrying it around because it's just tucked around. But by having folded over the top and the bottom, we can just take and harden that crease a little bit, but by having folded over the top and the bottom, we create these pockets right here at the top and the bottom that our cover can slide into. And it closes. And you can do the same thing for the back side. Open it up, open that up, crease this down, then lift up the edge of our book and tuck the edges, edges into this pocket here and this pocket here. I'll just go right in there and slide it down around the book gently and calmly and with the certainty that it will succeed because we have done this before hopefully and if you haven't congratulations on your first time putting a new dust jacket on a cover but once it's on, it's tight and secure, and it isn't going anywhere. That is going to stay on that book. And if you just wanted to see how to put a cover on a book, you can end this video now, but if you'd like to watch some decorating, I am about to decorate this dust jacket as well. And for that, I'm going to take it off of the book because if I use markers, I don't trust them not to seep through and I do not want them to color my cover. So, slide it off. And the other end as well. And set my book aside because I have now got a color to cover. Color to cover? Cover to color. So let's put Douglas Adams Douglas Adams The 
more than complete hitchhiker's guide, if I recall how they word it correctly. The more than complete hitchhiker's guide. Now I'm probably going to doodle on this, but I'm going to check the back and that ink has not soaked through. So I will probably doodle on it as I'm reading the book. But that is how you make a cover for a book that protects it and keeps your book safe from harm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a like anyway. <laughs> and um, if you like this video, I put up new videos every day, so I encourage you to come back and see what I'm doing tomorrow. And other than that, just remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys another day. Bye!